Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we get to talk about PlayStation again. I know. I know. <clears throat> I just said something mean about PlayStation the other day. But things clearly change after every game comes out, alright? Like, that's just the name of the game, man. Like, I've told you guys, this is a neutral channel. I really do love both consoles and I really do care about gaming. And games are what really matter. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe and sit right back and let's let's get this started with this. Finally, finally, PlayStation, you delivered. You finally delivered. And it's been a good delivery. Um, <clears throat> we start off with Deathloop, Deathloop last last month or, or last week. Deathloop, an amazing experience. I love playing this game. I think it's great. I hope it doesn't die on your platform because it's a multiplayer game and it and it is essential that multiplayer be a part of this. So I really hope that it continues to flourish and grow and, and expand um, because Deathloop is an amazing game. And then just a couple of days ago, you give us Kena, Bridge of Spirits. Well, not exactly shattering any kind of new boundaries or anything it is one hell of a safe game like it's it's great the game looks beautiful gameplay is is playable i mean it's it's definitely manageable it's it's a good experience i do i do enjoy my time playing cana bridge of spirits it is a fun game um i've been streaming it on my channel letting other people see and and, and see what it's all about to me it feels like a um a Pixar version of Horizon Zero Zero Dawn. I mean, the the combat and the moving, uh, the the uh, the traversal and everything. It, it's pretty close. I haven't found any mounts yet, so I don't know if there's any mounts. But for the most part, I mean, it feels pretty close to that. Um, the world is freaking beautiful. The characters are. I mean, they're 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 definitely going to grow on me. Probably for the most part, I do my see see myself completing this game and. And liking it generally, I, I I do I appreciate those single player adventure games. I I do I do appreciate them. Um, <clears throat> and then Death Stranding director's cut. I no longer believe that Kojima is a a game developer. No, this dude's a freaking wizard. He literally created a native 4K 60 frames experience. With without sacrificing a whole bunch of like goodies and everything, um, granted you do have to play it in the widescreen mode. I'm okay with that. Like, why wouldn't I be okay with this game? Looks freaking beautiful. Everything I wanted this game to be, it is, and more. There's new content added to this. Like, I'm freaking excited. This, my my hype level is is slowly returning for the PlayStation ecosystem. Like I, after playing Deathloop, Kena, and now Death Stranding, you know, basically back to back, Deathloop, amazing haptic feedback support, amazing. It feels great. I do kind I do understand why people are like hyped about the haptics. Um, it it works really well. Uh, Kena, not so much, but Death Stranding, yeah. <laughs> It it's pretty good. Like I'm 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 through the roof with this experience. You know, I'm pretty happy and I'm and I'm grateful that you know that it's. I mean, it has been six months since there's there's been something you know completely worthy of me. You know, really wanting to sit down and actually play my PlayStation. But Deathloop's had me playing since since last last Tuesday. Death Stranding is gonna have me playing all weekend. I mean. Yeah, like I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty excited about this, this, uh, this experience that we're about to, that we're about to embark on. Um, I am gonna do a fresh replay of Death Stranding. Um, I don't know if there's a new game plus mode, but I'm definitely gonna look into that and see if that's the case. And then I will, yeah, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream this gameplay. Um, everybody's like, everybody, you know, keeps asking me, well, why do you like Flight Simulator? Well, I mean, and and then they want to say that Death Stranding is a is a is a walking simulator. Like, dude, 
if you're one of them people that are out there screaming that this is a walking simulator, you don't know what you're talking about. You really do not know what you're talking about. This is probably Kojima's best work. Um, Metal Gear Solid's amazing. But this game, oh my gosh. Like, Death Stranding is really story heavy. And there, it, like, just traveling this world, you have to think about how to travel the world. Like, like not mindlessly like running around like Assassin's Creed or any of those other things. This open world is dangerous. This open world is fun. This open world is creative. And you do have to be creative to traverse some of this stuff. Um, vehicles are only going to get you so far in this. I mean, there, it, 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 is, it is walking. It is thinking. It is... This freaking world is amazing. This is probably one of the best designed open worlds I've ever, I've ever played. And I appreciate that. I love that. I love the fact that... This game creates a whole experience and uses basically everything to do that. Like, the world is, 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 is involved. You know, the, the BTs, everything. Oh, my gosh. I started playing, you know, a little bit last night, and, and, and it just comes rushing right back to me. Just how, just how great of an experience Death Stranding is. And I cannot wait to jump in and, and play this all weekend. So, yeah, that's, that's my thing. Like... I do love Xbox, okay? I, I do love my PlayStation. Um, Xbox has really gotten me through, um, you know, since since last year. You know, I mean, it's been hard for everybody, you know, with COVID and everything. Um, but this is the first time, like, I literally feel completely, completely satisfied that the PlayStation 5 is going to be able to deliver an experience that is going to, that is going to wow me. Just, just like the Xbox Series X is going to wow me. Like Microsoft Flight Simulator, hands down, is the is the is the most technical advanced game on the market on a console right now today. Hands down. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about that. Um, <clears throat> PlayStation 5, the experiences that we're going to have this generation with PlayStation and Xbox is going to be pretty freaking intense. I, I feel like it's going to it's going to get intense, and it's going to grow, and it's going to continue to grow, and our job as gamers to sit back and literally enjoy this stuff. Enough with the console war stuff, man. Um, I do. I get. I get a little riled up in that stuff every now and then too. And and like I, I'm vocal about my disdain and why I'm upset about things. Like I'm vocal. I have a, a whole channel dedicated to why I'm not happy with PlayStation. But that all changed over this last week. I now see PlayStation as a viable option to to entertain me just as much as the Xbox. Would, am I going to go out of my way to start buying my third-party games on PlayStation again? I, I doubt that's going to happen. I, I, I seriously doubt that's going to happen. Um, I, I'm probably just going to keep, you know, doing that on the Xbox. I mean, that that literally falls down to, I mean, I literally get 6,000 points when I buy the games on the Xbox. So, I mean, it's like getting six bucks back, whereas on the PlayStation, I'm you know, it, it takes a lot. So I'm PlayStation is gonna be a hundred percent my my third party exclusive or my first party exclusives. And if it's a third party timed exclusive, yeah, I'm gonna buy it on the PlayStation day one first, you know, so I can play it. I, I'm not waiting six months, a year, two years, or whatever, to, to play it on a different console. I'm gonna play that when it comes out, when it's fresh, and when I wanna play it. Um later later down the road i mean like we'll revisit this you know i i i genuinely think i believe after seeing you know you know death loop death stranding kenya bridge kenya bridge kenya kena bridge of spirits that this this generation is definitely going to have a really dynamic and you know like a really dynamic and and just you know uh what's that other word just a really dynamic and diverse, yeah, dynamic and diverse set of games and experiences that we're going to get to experience this generation. I like to experience games. I like to see, I, I like to be in these game worlds. Sometimes, literally, I'll buy a game just to run around and explore the world, just because I want to see something that I can't see in real life, that I, that I can't see by going out my front door, or that I can't see by driving somewhere. I want to see these really cool and imaginative worlds that these guys create and they build and they and they bring to life i love that i love that about video games i love the fact that i can jump in any car in the world 
any car I want and, and take it on a track and drive it. Race any car I want. I can... Now I can basically fly... Any, well, I don't know if I can fly as many planes as I want, but I can fly planes now. I mean, I can literally do whatever I want right here from the comfort of my own home. I don't have to go out there and worry about COVID. I don't have to uh, interact with a whole lot of people on the roads and in the streets and stuff. I, I can I can get I can come home from work and be in my own little world and experience and, and explore lots of different worlds. I mean, this this week alone, I've bought uh, since 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 uh, Tales of Arise about Tales of Arise Death Loop, um, Lost Judgment, Diablo Two, the Castlevania Advance um, Collection. I got the uh, the Death Stranding update. I've got what else did I buy? I could have sworn I bought at least one more. That that might that might be it. But I bought you know, what's like six games. I bought about six games just in the last you know ten days or whatever and. Like I'm, I feel overwhelmed right now. Oh, Cana Bridge of Spirits. <coughs> I feel overwhelmed right now with all these games that I got to play. But that's 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 a good feeling. I get all these games that I get to play and experience and have fun with. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy that you know both PlayStation and Xbox have them, both of them, and Nintendo. I I don't rarely ever have a dull time to like just sit back and play things, but. Yeah, like I'm, I'm excited about that, you know. So, I'm thankful that PlayStation has definitely brought me some experiences that have completely, you know, changed my mind and how I was thinking about PlayStation. I was kind of thinking that, I, I, I was, I was getting kind of negative there for a minute. Like I'm not even gonna lie, I was getting kind of negative about the PlayStation experience because I had not, I had not <clears throat> experienced these these things that have that, that made me hype that, that, that got me hyped i all i've experienced is spending a lot of money and 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 getting 10 hours of gameplay out of games and stuff that's that's all my experience has been up to this point and now i mean even 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 goes to tsushima i'm not gonna lie even goes to tsushima left me left me feeling like oh what the freak man i just paid 30 bucks for this and i got three hours worth of worth of story content like i'm not gonna lie like i felt I felt negative about that. I felt I felt mad. I felt, you know, not necessarily cheated, but I felt like, wow, dude, really PlayStation? Is this really where we're going with this? Like it was really starting to make me feel like I was I was just a bag of money for them. And now, you know, I get Deathloop. Deathloop. Wow, what an experience. What an experience. Playing this game online is one hell of an experience. Cana Bridge of Spirits I mean, it's a safe game, but like I said, it's fun. I enjoy this experience. I'm having a good time with it. And it wasn't $70. If it was $70, I, my idea of it would be different. I guarantee it. But it's $40. bucks. i am okay with that. That's that's $10 more than I paid for three hours of, of Ghost of Tsushima upgrade. I'm happy with that. I'm okay with that. Like, I can, I can live with that. Death Stranding, I literally paid $10 to upgrade my copy. And this thing is the best upgrade I've seen on a PlayStation 5 yet. Period. End of sub. Like, there's there's no... I mean, the haptics are amazing. Like, literally, the haptics are amazing. The visuals are, are freaking great. There's added content. Added content to this game. All for 10 bucks. Like, I that's more than fair. More than fair for me. The fact that I already love uh, Death Stranding and and want to continue playing it i've wanted to continue playing it i <laughs> i'm happy about this i get to play this game at 60 frames a second in widescreen mode with 4k visuals and not losing any any graphic settings and i for, for 10 bucks like that's a steal for me that that's amazing i get to experience you know all these other freaking games like I'm, I'm happy. Like I'm, I'm, I'm starting to understand and be happy with my PlayStation experience. So I just wanted to take this a few minutes, you know, and 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 tell people how I'm, how I'm starting to feel, how things are starting to change. Is it going to replace Xbox as my daily driver? Probably not. Probably not. Am I going to start enjoying my experience a lot more going forward? Yeah. Am I going to be more hyped when I when I hear about games coming to PlayStation Five? Probably. Pro probably like like this is this is pretty good like I, I i do appreciate this um if playstation games stayed you know like 
the visual style and everything of, of, of like God of War, you know, and you know Miles Morales and stuff like that going forward. But we're running it, you know, like 4K, 60 frames a second. I I would be mostly satisfied with that experience on PlayStation 5 going forward. Like like I would, like I I, I really would. I would be mostly satisfied with that experience. Um, I. I'm happy now. I, I am. I am genuinely happy. I probably won't be doing as much of the, the bash PlayStation anymore. I'm probably going to be doing more positive PlayStation stuff going forward, uh, along with my positive Xbox stuff. I am generally in a place now. I'm generally in a place now where I'm okay with both platforms going forward. Like, I, I'm, I'm not disappointed with PlayStation as much as I was. Because now I've got, you know, my, my, my storage is expandable. I can upgrade my storage as much as I want. Um, all, all the features that I thought should have been there are there. Um, the $10 upgrade fees are starting to feel less egregious. Um, especially with Death Stranding. Like, th that, that's a new leaf. That, that's definitely a new leaf. We're, they're not making you pay f the, the extra $10 upgrade fee for, for Her Horizon Forbidden West. And the next ones that are coming out are God of War and Gran Turismo 7. So... At the end of the day, um, I feel I feel like we're turning a new leaf with PlayStation. It's been a really bumpy, rocky start for the most part, but I feel like I'm in a place now where where I can accept these things and move forward and and not hold any bad blood. Um, I, I I I do I do wish that um, you know there's there's still things that they're going to need to change. But as a consumer myself um, and and a PlayStation fan. I, I definitely can move past that. I, I definitely can move past the things that, you know, that aren't there. Yeah, I wish there was more power in the PlayStation 5. It is what it is. I wish they would have focused more on the power instead of the SSD. I, I, I would have appreciated that more. Only time is going to tell if, this, if, the, if the SSD is really going to pay off to the point where it's going to make a big enough difference to, to, out, to, to outweigh, you know, the, the, the less power that the, that the console has. But at the end of the day, I've got my Xbox for everything else. Like, I, I, I don't care. Like, I'm, I'm okay in my head now to move forward and be happy. And, and I hope that you that you can too. Um, there's still going to be console drama. There is. I'm still going to I'm still going to talk about stuff that's drama and stuff like that. I'm still going to call PlayStation. I'm still going to call Xbox. I'm still going to call these these companies out if they do stuff that that I think is going to affect, you know us as gamers going forward like i'm still going to call that stuff out i'm not just you know falling in line just because it's like oh my gosh they gave me death stranding in this 4k i'm no i'm not falling in line i am i'm just not going to be as negative toward playstation i mean we already all know nobody's happy with the with the upgrade fees nobody's happy with you know with, with a lot of the things you know that playstation's been doing you know i mean they've they've definitely come out shown us what they what they've got for the future so yeah, I we, we can definitely just sit back and wait for your greatness and and have fun doing it. So if you like this content, I know this video was kind of long. I, I know it was kind of drug out. And if you made it to this point, I appreciate you taking that time to watch this all. And, you know, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Thank you.